Hey Scorpio, welcome to Shared Sensions. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. And Scorpio, this is for the week that we are currently in. I'm sorry about the delay. I'm also sorry about the echo. I did remodel my office. Um, it's a lot louder in here than it used to be. Uh, I do have some sound panels on the way that just haven't gotten here yet. So the echo is here to stay for now, okay? Scorpio. I do have personals open. You all could also follow me on Facebook and uh, Instagram, okay? Also have some additional content over on Patreon if you all want to check that out as well. So um, all that information is down below if you are interested. So let's see what we're getting here for you, Scorpio. Not starting off that well, but I do like the ending. You have the Seven of Pentacles here. Underneath that, you guys have the Tower. So I feel like something significant is going to be happening, especially with your two majors out here. So it could be towards the end of the week. Um, now, I do feel like there's a lot of heartbreak with something that you're waiting on. Like there, There's some delays here. I feel like there's some delays here. Saturn and Libra. Let's see what's going on with that Three of Swords. And you have Saturn, somebody could have Saturn and Taurus here um, with the Seven of Pentacles being your overall energy. But um, I'm feeling restrictions and delays, okay? It's causing a really cloudy energy here. Two of Cups, all right? There needs to be some kind of compromise or negotiation or something of that nature made here, all right? Some of you, you're wanting something to just happen a lot faster than it can, okay? Or than it will, all right? Um, there's going to have to be a different approach here for some, okay? And that's for a small portion of you, but I do feel like there's going to have to be a different approach. So this could be with a connection. It's moving a little bit slowly. Uh, you know, maybe you want to find someone here who is kind of on the same page where you're going to want to have to have a face-to-face -face discussion here. Honesty is key in this situation especially, okay? Somebody might have Venus and Cancer here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Let's see what's going on with her. How about this Queen of Pentacles? Page of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, you guys have a lot of court cards here. You know, these could represent, these could, some represent energies, but I feel like there's a lot of people involved. Um, there could be some bad news about work or about something that you have invested in. Let's get one more here for that. It's just not growing as quickly as you want it to grow. Page of Wands can say that you're getting impatient with something here. Um, or someone else could be getting impatient with you. You could be having some difficult clients here. You have the two of wands, somebody wanting to have it their way, Mars and Aries, okay? So I do see some delays here with that, all right? There's like a there's like a power struggle between you and this individual. Um, very interesting energy. But I do feel like the longer you wait on this, the longer you keep yourself in this situation, like you're, you're going to have to move to something different here. Um because I see just a standoff kind of energy, all right? It's not going to go well, you know, the way that I'm seeing it here. We have the Page of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on with the Page of Cups, please? <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. Um... Somebody's financing something here. You could be getting some news about a loan for some of you. Um... Also, Scorpio, I'm not sure if I said this, so I apologize if I did already, but um, the readings, they uh, I don't read in a straight line, so they could resonate in the beginning. They might stop resonating. Um, they might not resonate at all in the beginning, and they may start. I do jump around. I try not to read in a, in a straight line and just read messages how I'm getting them. Um, somebody might have their moon in Taurus or their moon in Libra, but I do feel like you're getting some news about an investment or somebody wanting to um, you know, maybe sponsor something. Yeah, somebody wanting to finance something here, so that could be good news for some of you. Or they're wanting to they're wanting to gift something with you. They've decided they want to gift to something here. Give me one more on that. Yeah, I feel like this could be really good for you. You know, I feel like this could be really good for the both of you here. So I'm not, it's not clear to me if it's that same person you were dealing with or that same group of people you were dealing with here. But um, you have the Seven of Pentacles as your overall energy. So, um, you know, in the Six of Pentacles, seeds are planted. and the Seven of Pentacles, seeds are sown. Things are growing. And you have the Temperance card, which is card of balance, peace, peace. Um, 
Also, if you're getting into a new connection, moderation with the Temperance card and the Six of Pentacles. Um, I would say like moderation, like don't over invest in something here. Um, we also have the Six of Swords showing up, Mercury and Aquarius. How about the Six of Swords for Scorpio? <clears throat> Six of Wands. Okay, so two sixes here. Progression, forward movement, getting some recognition here. Some of you, there could be some travel um, involved. I don't know why I said it like that. That is not my accent. <laughs> but there could be some travel involved here. Um, somebody might have Jupiter and Leo. Give me one more on this energy here. I feel like you're getting recognition for something. Um, Eight of Wands, yeah, lots of messages, lots of um, communication coming towards you, all right? I feel like a lot's coming at you at once here um, because of some kind of big move that you've made. Um, Mercury in Sagittarius with that Eight of Wands, I feel like something's coming at you. Um, yeah, I feel like you're, you're getting a lot of attention, a lot of recognition for something here, some kind of move you've made. You have the Nine of Cups. Uh, Jupiter and Pisces. It's something that's been a long time coming here is what I feel as well. Um, yeah, it's something that um, you've been working on for a long time, I feel. Uh, people are seeing that. How about that Nine of Cups? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. And again, the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles is um, like a card. It can be slow movement, okay? And we said I said the same thing with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, it feels like there are delays, and you're trying to figure out if you should keep investing in something or not. You're like, should I keep going with this? Should I try something new? You know, there's a pinnacle at his foot down there that he's not really looking at. There's another way to do this, all right? So I think that for some of you, you're trying to figure out, should I keep investing in it this way? Things are moving pretty slowly. Or should I go a different route here? I do feel like you are getting recognition, like I said, for something that you've been working on for a long time. It's possible that maybe it stops working or the progress slows down, like the way the things that were working before are not working now. So you may have to try a different approach is something else that I'm seeing here, or you may they just um, not necessarily have to, but um, I feel like it's something that you're you're considering here. All right, and this different approach, I feel like it is. Um, you know, I, I feel like it's uh, better all around. You know, I feel like you'll get a lot of support for that. So this could definitely be in the workplace with all the pinnacles showing up. Recognition for this, okay? Mars and Capricorn with that three of pinnacles. People are going to want to collaborate with you if this is a business idea, okay? How about the Three of Pentacles? Five of Wands. Yes, there's going to be a lot of competition over whatever this is. Whatever you have here, um, it's very valuable. Okay, so this could be a position you hold, an idea you have, a project you're working on, um, a relationship. Okay, uh, this could be for a small portion of you, especially with the hair font showing up. This could be a, play, a, a space that you occupy here. Somebody might want it for something. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I do feel like the Five of Wands, there is going to be some heavy competition, um, or there's a little bit of conflict over this. All right over whatever's being recognized here, which, you know, that's always the case. You have people in the Six of Wands energy uh, who are very supportive, and you have people in the Five of Wands energy, um, you know, who are going to push against everything you're you're trying to build, anything you're trying to do. Um, and that's typically, you know, people who don't really have anything going for themselves. Here's Scorpio. I almost called you Leo. Um, so maybe you could have Saturn and Leo, but... Um, yeah, I feel like that there could be people around you who are kind of pushing against you here. So uh, do with that what you will. But um, you know, I definitely feel like you're in a, you're in a tough spot here, trying to figure out if you should keep investing in something. I feel like you're getting some recognition, but I feel like it does slow down. All right, um, I feel like it slows down. Something might stop working here. Um, but there is there is another route to take. Now there could be some people who have some conflict with that. All right, um, or you could lose people by doing this. All right. Uh, you have the lover's card, so it's a big decision, all right? Gemini energy there. It's a big decision. It's possible for someone here, you, you may want to leave a job, and you might have family who does not want you to leave that position. You know, it could be whatever this is here that you're trying to let go of. Um, I feel as if you have people who are benefiting from you staying in that position that's stressing you out or that's causing all this conflict. Um, I, I feel that there are people who are benefiting from it and they want you to stay in that position because of this, but I, I see a turning point taking place here. We have the lovers in the Three of Cups. Somebody might have um, Mercury in Cancer. 
Um, but you know, I do see this as a turning point for the better, okay? So this new approach, this new decision, whatever this is here, I, I do feel like things go well for a minute and they slow down and then there's a new pro approach that has to be taken here or a new path that has to be taken. Um, and I feel like that new path is very promising. You have the Knight of Swords next, Gemini energy. The Emperor Aries energy. I feel that Emperor show up a lot for some reason. Um, I feel like there's something here that you, you may end up trying to save, okay? Uh, this could definitely be a connection with the Three of Cups. I can talk about a reunion, all right? Um, there's something here that you might try to save with this Aries or this Gemini for some of you. Knights are rescuers. I feel like you are trying to um, save something or, or stop something from happening. What's, what's going on with that? What's going on with this for Scorpio? Knight of Swords for Scorpio, please. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're, you're trying to stop something from being taken here. So now you can have their moon in Aquarius. You're trying to come up with a strategy here. Um, some of you, I feel like you could be deceiving yourself, you know, when it comes to somebody that you're dealing with here or something that you're doing um, with that Three of Cups. You're... There's, there's a coming together with an individual here. I feel like you're trying to save something or, or help something, but the Seven of Swords, I feel like you could be deceiving yourself like it's a lost cause. And, you know, I said that in the beginning. I feel like there's somebody here that you are trying to, um, you know, communicate with, negotiate with, with that Two of Cups, compromise with, and it's just, it's not leading you anywhere, you know? It's not leading you anywhere here. Um, we have the hair font as well. So Taurus Energy, what's going on with this for Scorpio, please? Ten of Cups. I feel like somebody might have Mars and Pisces. I feel like you're choosing to avoid the conflict. You're choosing to avoid that Five of Wands energy, but um, we have the Four of Pentacles. And in a way that you're still protected. So this could involve a Capricorn for some of you, or like I said before, a Taurus, maybe Aries. Um, but I feel like you're doing this in a way where you are still protected. You're just setting boundaries with the person here. You're not you're not communicating with them anymore. You're not associating with them anymore. Um, I feel like you have new rules and boundaries set in place for yourself here with the hair font. This can talk about structures, rules, traditions, things of that nature. Uh, things of that nature. Things of that nature. Structures, um, the home, you know. And you have the Ten of Cups here as well. So maybe you are parting with somebody that you were living with here. Maybe you are, um, you know, splitting up with a person. But um, I feel like whatever new approach you have here uh, with dealing with connections, dealing with people, um, dealing with authority figures, I, I feel like it is, it's going to be a good turnaround. You know, the Ten of Cups is your is your last card. Well, technically the Four of Pentacles. But to me, that's saying that you're protecting your energy, you're setting boundaries, the proper boundaries that need to be set. Um, and you're no longer deceiving yourself or deceiving anyone else in the situation here. So I like this energy for you a lot, Scorpio. I hope it was helpful. If it did not resonate, feel free to watch out for your other signs. But uh, if this is where we part, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me, and you all enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.